Okay, in lesson 2.4, reasoning and algebra, we're actually going to put into practice some of these uh, reasoning and logical skills we've been practicing. So, we will be using our algebra properties of equality to do that. Hopefully, you remember these from algebra and algebra 2, the addition property. And when you write these down, you'll see what you'll, re hopefully you'll remember what they say. The subtraction property, multiplication, division, reflexive, symmetric, transitive, and substitution. So pause the video and copy these properties down so you will remember what they are. We will also be using the distributive property. So copy this one down. Found this. It, I thought this one looked cute, so I used it. Hope you like it. So we're going to put these into practice now, proving something. We use deductive reasoning when we solve equations. We will use postulates, properties, or a definition to justify each statement that we do. And this is getting us ready to... Um, prove things in geometry. So we're going to prove things in algebra first. So if we take a look at these angles, we're going to solve for X and justify each step that we do. The measure of angle AOC is 139 degrees. I should have put a degrees right there, but I didn't. We know that AOB is X and we know that BOC is 2X plus 10. So Knowing that, here's our proof. The measure of angle AOB plus the measure of angle BOC equals the measure of angle AOC. And that is our angle addition postulate that we learned back in chapter 1. This right here is our proof, what we're using to say this. X plus 2X plus 10 equals 139 is our substitution property. We substituted in those values for the angles. 3X plus 10 equals 139. We simplified. 3X plus, I'm sorry, 3X equals 129. That was using our subtraction property of equality where we subtracted 10 from both sides. And then X... Um, equals 43. We use the division property of equality to do this where we divided both sides by 3. So there's our proof using those properties. All right here is another example. Whoops. Sorry for my little boo boo up here. I can erase it right off like magic. Ha. So we're going to solve for y here on this. And justify each step. We've got a segment that equal. Uh, uh, it's called AC. It equals 21. AB is equal to 2Y, and BC is equal to 3Y minus 9. Now, none of this is anything we haven't done yet, except for proving how we're doing it. We're justifying it using our postulates or properties, telling each step and exactly what you use to um, complete that step. So AB plus BC equals AC. That's using the segment addition postulate. Talked about that last chapter. 2Y plus 3Y minus 9 equals 21. That's the substitution property where we were told right up here what each segment equaled. 5Y minus 9 equals 21. We simplify. 5Y equals 30. We use the addition property of equality that time because we added 9 to both sides. And then y equals 6. That's using the division property of equality where we divided both sides by 5. Now we will also be using some properties of congruence. The ref uh, and it's kind of the same as we talked about earlier in the video except it's using angle congruence or segment congru uh, congruency this time. So the reflexive property where segment AB is congruent to segment AB or angle A is congruent to angle A. It's kind of like looking in the mirror at your reflection. Symmetric property 
if segment AB is concurrent to segment CD, then segment CD is concurrent to segment AB, and so forth and so on. You can read these as you copy them, but, and also the transitive property. So we're going, so you can pause the video and copy those, and then we will use some of these to, well, we'll actually practice telling exactly what property it is when you see um, some problems that look like this. So angle K is congruent to angle K. That's the reflexive property of congruence. If 2X minus 8 equals 10, then 2X equals 8. Hopefully you see that there you use the addition property the, the, of equality. These are just examples like we'll practice in class. If segment RS is congruent to segment TW and segment TW is congruent to segment PQ, then segment RS is congruent, congruent to segment PQ. And that's the transitive property of congruence. And the, this one, if the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle B, then the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle A. And that's the symmetric property of equality. Added in something special. My favorite logical reasoning character, Spock. He always used logical re reasoning. He says, I'll be okay, Mom. I'm not wearing a red shirt. If you're a Trekkie, you would understand that joke. Hopefully, I can explain it to you if you want to know. I'll talk to you later.